thing, and I'm here for it. We got a trio truckers talk this morning, you know what I'm saying, by way of the book. So we're gonna do a trio truckers talk by way of the book, and then swipe that thing and do what we do. But look out, we got cold AC blowing, and we got treats. We got treats off in here. You know what I'm saying? We got treats off in here. We about to go ahead and get on. Finna go and get lit on these treats. But I got a clear message. I got a clear message to my young minds out there. I got a clear message to my young brothers out there. Give me a second. a second to get straight then I'm gonna get to it I got a clear message for the young homies and I think I think this message is very necessary but let me get straight I got a pole mill drink I got a pole mill drink you know what I'm saying yeah I don't know I'm to come to Facebook no more with this here I go straight to the two but I realize I could capture it better on the book than rip it and bring it to the tube. We out here doing some good hustling this morning. We got some good grinding going on this morning. You know what I'm saying? Made up my mind when that was. Friday before last. I made up my mind Friday before last. That was about two Fridays ago. I made up my mind. I said, I'm gonna cut the shit and I'm finna get some good grinding on. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get some good grinding on because it's available. And when I talk to my brothers that's out there grinding, they ain't leaving nothing on the table. They taking everything off the table and wanting some more. But I think I got, I think I got a little complacent. You know what I mean? I was calling myself going to the gym after I get off work. But then my uh, my gym closed for renovations, dirty bitches. So I've been having to freestyle. I've been having to freestyle, hit the park and do this and do that. You know what I mean? But it's all good. I ain't gonna be stopped. But I said two weeks ago, so I used to drink a whole pack. I used to drink a whole pack, but nah, I could. Nah, I could it. I cut it into two. I turned one into two. Yeah. Whip game proper. I turned one into two. Yeah. So I said to myself, if the grinding good, I'm going to get out here and get it. Because one thing about it for the summer, guys who operate these, you know, trucks, I guess you would call them truck drivers, but don't call me that. Don't call me that. For the summer, guys who operate these trucks know that it's less traffic on the road so we can rip and run how we want. You see what I'm saying? Look, I know I look tired. I know I look tired, but don't mind that because I ain't tired at all. I just get up early in the morning. You know what I'm saying? But look, so guys know during the week, and then I got my little grilled chicken. I got my little grilled chicken and spinach. You know what I mean? I'm on top of my shit. I've been on top of my, I've been on top of my shit for two weeks, two weeks straight. Y'all pray for me. Don't pray on me. Pray for me. Don't pray on me. I've been on top. I've been on top of my shit for two weeks. Yeah, you'll see me drink a little champagne bottle here and there, but it's nothing. It's nothing compared to when I'm not on my shit. I'm on my shit right now. I'm on my shit right now. So yeah, so I got a message this morning for my younger brothers. And the message basically, it goes towards these lyrics, Pimp Head, in one of the songs called Slow Down. And y'all remember, y'all remember the song, Slow Down, you know what I'm talking about? 
I think the song maybe featured X Mile, Bunny G, and, and Vicious. And Corey Moe, I think, made the beat. And he might be on it. He might be on it also. Slow down. You know what I'm talking about? Slow down. Young niggas. Young niggas. Well, I'm out of that. I'm out of that CLA ball. I'm out of that CLA ball. But young niggas. I need y'all to slow down for a minute. Y'all good. Y'all, y'all, y'all good. Y'all on point. You hear me? Y'all on target. Uh, you on schedule. Slow down and get organized. Because I'm starting to hear from a lot of my younger brothers, I'm moving too fast. I'm just, I'm just moving too fast. Well, guess what? If you know you moving too fast and, 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 and you ain't crossing some T's and, some, and dotting some I's and it's costing you because you're moving too fast, you're going to have to slow down. No, I'm talking about slow down. No, I'm talking about you're going to have to slow down. I understand the, get, the getting is good. And so when the getting be good, you get, you get scatterbrained. You be but you, you're moving like a chicken with your head cut off. So you gotta slow down and put things in perspective and do what's beneficial and necessary and take care of business. You know what I mean? Slow down. You ain't gotta be everywhere with everybody. You ain't gotta be over committing with everybody. I'm gonna tell you some trio shit. You ain't got a lot of friends. You know a lot of niggas, but you ain't got a lot of friends. So all that overcommitting, that shit ain't real. When you be overcommitting to all these different people, but the people who are important, you won't even commit to them. Like your little baby mamas and your little babies. That's who you commit to. That's who, that's who you obligate yourself with. That's who you show up for. Don't show up for me. Now we now we enter into an agreement that's gonna be beneficial for the both of us. Yeah, I want you to keep your word. But you don't owe me nothing. You owe it to your churn, your, your, your family, the people who held you up, the young girl who loved you so much and she so googly eyed over you, she let you do any and everything and she still love you. That's who you owe. Know what I'm talking about? So slow down. Cause if you don't slow down, something gonna slow you down. You know what I mean? So why you niggas young? Get on every opportunity it is to get that money. This is a new day and age. Back in the day, boy, all we had was the refinery. All we had was the refinery or some dope. You hear me? Just being real with you, my nigga. Back in the day, all we had was some refinery or some dope. Go work a shutdown or sell some dope or go work a shutdown so you could buy some dope to sell some dope. This is a new day and age. Boys, all kind of technology out here for you to get some money. Boy, I used to have to go rent chainsaws to get money. Borrow lime molds to get money. Borrow weed eaters. You hear me? I used to go beg grandpa to use his lime mold so I can... Listen, listen. I had 10 yards to cut, but I ain't had no equipment. I lined up 10 yards. But I ain't had no equipment. But I had 10 yards. And I already gave them the bid on how much I was gonna cut them yards for. So I go to grandpa, like, look out grandpa. I get $20, let me borrow this, this lawnmower all day. Grandpa sat up and, and lit his pipe and crossed his legs like them old folks do. He looked out into the, the sky and he said, you know what, Herbie? I don't lend my mo. I lent my mo back in 1935 and when the man returned my mo, he didn't clean my lawn mo blade. <laughs> I said, Grandpa, nigga ain't trying to hear that, man. Look out, Grandpa, man, look. 
I didn't, I didn't, I didn't lined up 10, 12 yards, Grandpa, man. I, I need that mow. He said, that ain't my problem. You're going to have to find you another mow. I'm like, I am not going to disrespect this nigga right here because this nigga is the king. This nigga is the king of my family and everybody love him and I love him to death. The only nigga used to kiss me by right here all over my face. The only man that kissed me all over my face. I was not finna disrespect my grandpa. If my grandpa told me no, I couldn't get that line mo, that's what it is. End of stir. Now I gotta, and I'm on foot. And I'm musty. Now I'm moving around the motherfucking city trying to see who gonna let me use a line mo, cause I got a dozen yards set up and, and, and it's getting late. It's getting late. I'm trying to remember where I got that damn mo from. Who gave me that mo? Who gave me that mo? I got that mo. I got that mo. Who gave me that mo? I don't remember who gave me that mo, but 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 trust me and you. Whoever gave me that mo, thank you. I'll cash up for thirty dollars right now. Nah. <laughs> I don't remember who gave me that mo, but somebody gave me that motherfucking mo. And I went on over there and went to cutting on them goddamn yards. Grass damn near a foot high, grass knee high. Grass killing that mo. Boy, I'm fucking that mo up. Then I laid there, you understand, and, 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 and popped the string on that bitch. <laughs> so the moral to the story is you shouldn't have lent me that motherfucking mo because I fucked that hoe up now. <laughs> I forgot who lent me that mo, but I fucked that hoe up. I overweight. Hey, I overweight. I overworked that hoe. I think, I, I don't know if Marquis lent me that mo. Somebody lent me a motherfucking mo, but I went out there and was, nigga, I was mo better blue, nigga. Nigga, I was mowing and hoeing, nigga. Nah. <laughs> but look, young niggas, slow down, my nigga. Slow down, all right? Line it, line it up and knock it out. But slow down, y'all moving too fast. Y'all missing out on a lot of shit. And you'll be blessed if you have to be forced to slow down and sit down. Then you'll recognize all the beautiful shit that you're missing out on. Let me remind you some of some beautiful shit that you're missing out on that you're going to value later on in life. Sitting down, eating dinner with your family. Sitting down, eating a meal with your family. You're going to miss that shit. Stop overlooking that shit. Stop running in the house, grabbing some bullshit, and just running out. Come sit down. Be still. Listen. Talk. What's on your mind? How are you? You know what I mean? What kind of thoughts you got going on productive? What you going to do with your future? Slow down. You niggas moving way too fast, man. And you're missing all the writing on the wall. You know what I mean? Sit down with them little babies. Teach them how to piss in a pot. Sit down with them little babies and teach them how to read and talk. Don't teach them how to smoke blunts. Fuck that. That's the dumb shit. Teach them how to correctly talk. Teach them how to get their damn thumb out their mouth. Teach them how to stop pissing in the bed. You know, we're moving too fast. We're overlooking, we overlooking the preliminaries. We're overlooking the, the first steps. You know what I'm talking about? Slow down. Because if you don't, something's going to slow you down. That mama that you didn't stressed out all your motherfucking life, you strong now. She didn't gave you all the titty milk. She didn't gave you all the cereals and hot pockets and home cooked meals and, and, and band aids and love and alcohol and peroxide motherfucker. She didn't raise you. So now it's time for you to show her some love and appreciation. Get your ass out here in this world and be productive and come back and kiss that woman on her face and give her a big motherfucking hug and give her some roses and tell her you appreciate her. Slow down, nigga. Backtrack. 
everybody who did good by you. They were trying to raise you up so you can be on your own and take care of yourself. Go show them, pre them people you did that and you appreciate them. All that old clicking up with your niggas, going, going destroy other niggas. No, my nigga, that ain't it. That ain't it. Slow down. And the only reason I'm telling you this is because I once was you. And I love you. I love you. I love my young black niggas. I love my young urban niggas. I love y'all niggas. Slow down. You know what I mean? Cross your T's, dot your I's. You're moving too fast. You passing up your blessings. Your blessings is right here. You, you, you passing the motherfuckers up. Are you, are you, are you full of, full of other shit and you can't even see it because you so full of some shit. Slow down. Put that shit down. Sober up. Drink some water. Think. Listen. Learn. Get you some high paying skills, my nigga. Get you some high paying skills. That shit pay just as good as the streets. Sometimes even better. Get you some high paying skills. Talk to some niggas with some skills and learn. Get up under some niggas and be a motherfucking protege and learn some shit. Get up under niggas who know how to do construction. Get up under niggas who know how to do mechanic work, diesel mechanic work, niggas who know how to work on cars. Get up under niggas who know that shit and listen and learn you some high paying skills. Or get on that motherfucking internet and freak the shit out of that technology. Because hold up, that technology a motherfucker. Hey, hold up, nigga. I just got damn near a thousand dollar check yesterday, nigga. For 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 it ain't, it ain't that no more. It ain't out there in them streets. No, fuck that shit, nigga. I be damn. You catch me with some dumb ass shit. Dumb ass, some hustling, nigga. Nigga, I'm a hustle, nigga. Nigga, I'm a real, I'm a real live hustle, nigga. I'm, a, I'm some work. You hear me? I'm some loud. <laughs> nigga, I'm some grams and some ounces and some pounds. You hear me? Nigga, I'm some kilograms. I'm nigga, I'm the work. That shit over with. Look, it's too much. Look, it's too much information out here for us to still be on some dinosaur shit. I tell you what, I tell you what I'ma do. I'ma go back to standing on the corner and selling CDs, nigga. Hold up. Hold up, nigga. I'ma go back to standing on the corner selling CDs. Yeah, yeah. And what you gonna say then? Oh, that nigga, they're stuck in time. That nigga, they're... Whoop, 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 whoop. Nah, nigga. <laughs> Slow down, man. Put things in perspective. It's a whole lot of money out here, man. And only way if you ain't getting it is because you're talking yourself up out of it. You moving wrong. You know what I mean? These nigga from the... These nigga from the 80s and 90s... Shit. Nigga from the 80s and 90s? Shit. Them niggas see the opportunities, bro. If they don't, they been hit upside the head too many motherfucking me times and all them fist fights. That's all to it. You did. But these, these millennial niggas and these, these niggas from 80s on up, boy, we see that money, bro. We see that money, bro, and we gonna get it. Because now we see... Nigga ain't gonna throw us in no motherfucking jail cell for 10, 15, 20 years for hustling hard. Get you a high paying skill. Learn you some shit. You maybe not went to college. Maybe you didn't go to college. I ain't saying you gotta go to college. Nigga, go to trade school, nigga. Nigga, get a, nigga, get a barber motherfucking license and a motherfucking CDLs and a motherfucking real estate license, nigga, and a motherfucking 
pharmacist certificate. I can't even say it. Nigga, get all that shit, nigga. Quit spending 10, 15, 20 years trying to come up with a motherfucking hit record when you can have all these motherfucking criteria and degrees and certifications and everything that could put so much motherfucking paper in your pocket that when I call you, I can say, young nigga, let me borrow $3,000 and you don't even bat an eye, my nigga. How about that? That's who you are. You are that person in your family right now that can take it to the motherfucking meat top and bring resources and options back for your whole family. Because you are living in a time where things are hella abundant. Don't get me wrong, it's still fucked up out here. But nigga, it's still good. It's good. Hey, nigga, it's good as gravy out here. It's good as gravy out here. Nigga, when I nigga, look, nigga, when I park this truck, nigga, I'm getting on another hustle. When I finish that hustle, I'm getting on another hustle. You hear me? And I'ma do that there till I'm drowsy and tired and can't even think no more. And then I'ma thank God and get my ass in the bed and get me some shut eye. And then when God woke me up again early in the morning, bing, nigga, I'm back up, nigga. Where it's at? Seeking and destroying. Where is that motherfucking me money? But it's lined up like that. I had to slow down. I had to put things in perspective. I had to I had to minimize so I can maximize. So everything I do right now all makes sense. Everything you got going on right now can all make sense. But you got to slow down and put that shit in perspective. You can't start some shit and take off running over there to the right. Then go all the way around and go on over there to the left. Then circle back around. Then gonna come check on what you started and see if it grown. You ain't nurtured it. You got to be still. You got to be still long enough to nurture some shit until it materializes. You can't just expect gratification as soon as you put a motherfucking seed in the ground. You can't expect as soon as you plant that bitch and spit on that hole or pour some soda water on it or pour some drink on it that in 24 hours a motherfucker gonna grow into a tree. You tripping. It don't work like that. Slow down. Put things in perspective. Show love to the people who show love to you. Take care of your people. Take care of yourself. Take care of your liver. Take care of your kidneys. Take care of your brain. Take care of your blood. Take care of your body. Take care of yourself. That's what's important. You are the value. You see this here? 24 karat gold skin. You see that there? Nigga, I'm the 24 karat gold. Yeah. I ain't on no Bruno Mars shit. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you are the value. You are the diamond. You are the diamond in the rough. You just got to polish yourself up and go get it. But I ain't going to spend all this time chewing y'all ear off. I'm going to show y'all how I do it on YouTube. Who out here? Who in here doing what? Look, okay, I see Bane McDaniel up in here. This is how I do it on YouTube. This is how YouTube, this how, this, this the labor that pays me. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> nigga, I signed with YouTube Ruckus, nigga. Nah. <laughs> Bane McDonald, what's McBan me? You know what I'm saying? McDonald's? No. Bane McDaniel. Rose Carter. Hey, baby. Hope you're doing well. You know what I mean? Darren. Boy, I cannot say that last name. Consen. Consention. Darren Consention. I ain't never seen no name like that. That's a hell of a name. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Let me see. We got a Pamela Bell stopped off in this thing. Hey, there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a Roberto Carney stopped off in this thing. Believe that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop that music. Baby, I be dropping that music so much, I just don't be dropping that shit on no Facebook. I don't be dropping that shit on Facebook no more. I drop that bitch on that YouTube. I'm live as hell on that YouTube every day because that's the label that pays me. <laughs> nah, Roberto Carney, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trinette Petrie. Hey, neighborhood. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Granddaddy was right. Granddaddy, hey. I'm glad granddaddy ain't give me that mo, boy. Granddaddy would have granddaddy would have list my motherfucking ass bought that mo back all fucked up. Look, boy, I had that, hey boy, I had that mo. That mo was motherfucking. That mo couldn't breathe so much grass was coming through that motherfucking bro. Nigga, that mo couldn't even breathe, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. Pamela Bell, have a blessed day. For real, for real. Rose Carter, yeah, yeah, yeah. Grandpa wasn't about to lend that mo. Yeah, Darren. Grandpa was not about to lend that mo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fashion line for real. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate that. Grab that trigger gear and trigger gear diabetes. Jamal, that's what it is, my nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bane McDaniel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alexander King Alamo. You already know what it is, man. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Darren Concession. One love. Hey, appreciate you. And guess what? Boom. We finna take this YouTube. We finna take this motherfucking video to YouTube. We finna snatch this bitch off Facebook and go put it on YouTube where it makes sense and where it pay me. You hear me? I'm out. <laughs>